Hello, this is MG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. Let's head in to Mount Poyang to see if we can find some saltpeter around here. It wouldn't be my first LP where I needed to find an explosive to blow up a canal in order to advance the plot. Well, technically it was my very first completed LP, but you know what I mean. We've done it before, we can do it again. And here we find Gaming General that I very much would like to recruit now that we've defeated him in, well, the storyline battle, so we can pick him up here. Might need to do some healing along the way. He can hit pretty hard, but nothing we can't handle. Now, I know what you're thinking, viewers. H.C. Bailey, with enemy generals getting so many more soldiers than... Uh, ever before, why not set up your party to use Ansha to kill them relatively quickly? And the main reason is because Ansha costs 10 TP, so I wouldn't be able to do that a whole lot anyway. But another reason is that Ansha has a second accuracy check after the normal intelligence comparison that every other tactic has. So, like, let's say I have a 75% chance of uh, Ansha succeeding, but then that gets multiplied by the user's intelligence divided by 256. So, Ansha is always going to be a little less accurate than other uh, tactics that you could use, but it's still totally worth it during boss fights. And we got Ganning. Let's see what he wants. Hey, hey all right. More party members with Ganning. I'll get him into the party shortly. Fortunately, this is a relatively short dungeon. There's not a ton of treasure to find around here. And another thing about recruiting generals in this chapter, or actually for the remainder of the game, really, I generally don't want to recruit generals that I'm not actually going to use. Like, the idea being to make it easier for me to recruit other generals that I really care about. But the thing is, is that some generals, or a lot of generals, are going to be having Jameon. And if I recruited a general that doesn't have that, that would make it even more likely for me to run into Jimian, which just makes random battles take forever. So I would rather minimize that possibility as much as possible. Ow! Okay, yeah, we need to, uh, yeah, pull out there. Okay, um, actually, you know what? Let's have Zhang Ren do the healing here. And then, yeah, everyone else, get in there. All right, very nice. Ow! Okay, now you're gonna need a bunch of healing. And I'm gonna need to get out of here quickly. Whoops. Well, that's okay. We'll be fine. Hey! And after that battle, we gained another level! Getting up to level 28. And for doing so, we gain a whole bunch more soldiers. And we learn the almighty... Jin Xian tactic, the ultimate healing tactic in the game, hits all party members, and it only costs 4 TP. It is obscenely cheap. I would dare say they probably made a typo and made it ridiculously cheap with how powerful it is, but it'll be very useful for us for the remainder of the game. Meanwhile, yeah, there's only the one chest in the cave and yeah a whole bunch of other paths that don't have anything there but they do have a lot of rebels around here but yeah they're still easy as ever okay we finally made it over here to find the salt peter very nice so, uh, yeah, let's, uh, get out of here now, since I've already recruited Ganning. I don't need to take the time to, uh, find him. 
or go out of my way to do so. So let's go back to Jisho here. I also want to restock on some items here. And also bring Kat Ming into the party. Very nice. Let's see. Okay, so where would the saltpeter have gone? Okay, so let's get that to Zhuge Liang. And then, okay, yeah, let's just get up to the shop here. I'm not going to buy another uh, steed right now. That won't really be necessary. We'll be fine with what I've got. There's only one more party member that I want to recruit in the relatively near future anyway. And I'm not going to be recruiting anyone else. Okay, so we got all those. Oh, yeah, I need to get... Another goal wing. Actually, you know what? Let's get two more. Just to make sure I've got all my bases covered. Okay, so we get all that. Then, let's head over to the headquarters. And billet Zhang Ren. Oh, right. Yeah, well, first we gotta... Yeah, find them. Okay, so, yeah, let's remove Zhang Ren. And then, I would like to add Ganning. And he should have all of his equipment. Yep, all set and ready to go. There is another thing that I want to do that I wasn't planning on. I actually want to remove Masu in favor of Ma Liang. Uh, the reason is because Ma Liang has slightly more intelligence, but not more than 230 for using on Sha there, or getting access to, it, access to it. The reason I was using Masu was because Masu has a lot more strength, but now that doesn't really matter to me. So, yeah, don't worry about it. Okay. So, yeah, I might as well take Ma Liang so I have access to more TP when I need to use En Sha. Okay, and then for the formation, well, Ganning's definitely going up top there. And uh, Zhao Yun has more soldiers than Machao, so we'll switch them around, but otherwise I think we're good. Okay, so we'll go like that. Now, the thing is, with the next couple levels... Uh, let's see... Yeah, Zhuge Liang can learn tactics that uh, Ma Liang can also learn. So I'm going to need to be careful when I get to those levels. Although that shouldn't be a problem in the very near future. But, uh, okay, so we got... Oh, yeah, we can also fire Zhang Ren. We don't need him cluttering up the, the headquarters here. But, uh, okay, so we got all that. Now, let's get back to... Jianan. Yeah, I think I neglected to mention you can go wing back there. So that's pretty nice. Okay, so then we've got all that. Oh, yeah, I think you already told us, though. But I suppose we can do that, go through that again. Right, got the branch. We got the saltpeter. Um, uh, what are you doing? Oh, okay, good. Now, oh, where are you going, dude? What? Okay, that's one way of handling that. Oh, well, maybe. But in any case, that's one way to get across the river. Okay, and then let's see, over here, I would like to start buying... Elixir D for my party to help out with healing. We do have a bit of a long walk coming up here. Not extraordinarily long, but long enough. So, yeah, I want to make sure I have some elixirs to keep my generals above a thousand soldiers there. Since now my main healing tactic is multi-targeting. So, I would like to get one more of those. If I could stop canceling these menus, that would make this a lot faster. Okay, so how are we looking here? Okay, you've got all your stuff. And you've got all yours. I think we're good to go. 
But what do we find past the canal to the south? Find out next time on Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. This is H.E. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.